Now you did tell me that you want to quit a few times. What yeah. what happened? Well, tell me a story of, of when that happened. There's probably mul- there's multiple stories, but I just think, think that, you know, the food business is so new to us. And one of the challenges very early on was trying to figure out production. So it was one thing when like we gave it to like friends and friends of friends to kind of test it out. We made it in our own kitchen. We weren't like a, a kind of licensed business yet. And we just like kind of gave it out to like taste test. And we made 40 donuts in our little kitchen in our condo here in Camor. And uh, it was a nightmare. <laughs> there was just, it was just like, there were donuts everywhere. We had to clean out our fridge to try and make room for all of the like donuts that were proofing. And it was just, it was a lot, a little tiny fryer with a little pot. And I, I feel like from there, that's the maximum we got to like, you know, just in our home. And then we moved into one of the local restaurants, actually Tavern 1883. They're really what allowed us to then like take the next step to make this an actual business because there were no commercial kitchens in town that had a deep fryer. And so during the pandemic, we, we met with them and they actually let us go into their kitchen when they weren't using it. So we would go into their kitchen at night and we've never been in a kitchen before. So it was as funny as like, look, like having to learn how to use the, the commercial dishwasher and being like, so how does this thing work? Like, so actually and- that's super cool. Like, uh, I just want to rewind a little bit because you, you talked about the mass capacity that you faced when during production and you didn't let not having a commercial kitchen stop you from doing anything. You're like, you know what? I'll just make it and I'll deal with the consequences later. I'm not, by the way, I'm not promoting this. But this is like the attitude, the GSD mentality, right? Um, I'm not sure if you guys know the get done mentality, yeah, right. right? Exactly, right? And, and I love that. And I think like, you know, as startups, as business, something that I'm really proud about is being scrappy. Mm-hmm. That's what it, it, it's, it's all about being scrappy. And, and that's what's going to get you to the next level. Something that I can really relate to. Now that you're like, hey, production is at a limit. And you, were you just talking to a friend that's like, you know, uh, can I borrow your kitchen? Because this stops a lot of entrepreneurs from moving forward. Mm-hmm. Because they feel like that. Oh, how should I reach out? Like, oh, what if they say no? Like, what was that process like? Sure. Yeah. So I I will clarify in the kitchen at home, we weren't selling them. We were just giving them to taste tests and get feedback. And then I would send surveys out to get lots of, like I'd ask a lot of questions to get feedback on like, what did they like? What did they didn't like? What would they prefer? How much would they pay for it? Different things like that. And so we, we had talked to the town of Canmore about like what we would need in order to make this an actual business. And we actually talked about having it in the home, but knowing that we could only make 40 donuts in our little home was like, we knew we wanted to go bigger than that, like from the get go, because it's a process. Donuts take a long time. Like, so we may as well make more. So moving to a different kitchen, we, you know, I just started talking to friends and to the people that were tasting out donuts. I was like, yeah, this is, this is the challenge that we're facing right now is that we need a kitchen with a fryer. The commercial kitchens don't have it here. We're looking for a restaurant. And it just so happened that my friend Maggie I was sharing this with her, the challenge that we were having. And she was like, oh, I know the manager, Tavern 1883. Let me, let me message and give you an email introduction. And that was so exciting. We had a couple other restaurants we were talking to, but we went and met with the chef and she was just amazing. Everything was just positive. It was like, yeah, we'll make it work. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. And so from there, we got all the permits. We just started learning how to be in a kitchen. She taught us kind of what to do, what equipment of theirs we could use, what we had to buy ourselves. And then we started getting ready for our first like official donut day. 